Hello everybody. So uh, in this video, we're going to be making a kimono, nice and simple kimono. Even if you don't have the knowledge of sewing or anything, you can pull this off. So we're going to be looking at our measurements first. These are the measurements you need. Your nip to sleeve, your bust, your waist, your hip, and then the length of the kimono. So when you figure this, especially these three, the bust, the waist, and the hip, I normally work without the waist, yeah. So when you figure these three out, you you add 8 inches to the figure you have and then you divide by 4. That figure is what we are going to be using now. So I'm just going to begin. So my nip to sleeve is 22. Okay, so I have 22.5 here exact. So I'm going to be using that 0.5 for my sewing allowance. So the first thing I'll do now is Mark 0 0.5 from the top here. That 0 0.5 will be my sewing allowance. So now we can begin to do like the other measurements. You also determine the opening for your bust, like the sleeve area. How wide do you want it to be? So normally I would use my bust divided by four and minus one, but you can use whatever you want really as free as you want it to be. Remember that this is a DIY project. So I'm going to be using my actual bust, which is 44 divided by four, that's 11. Then I'll take out one. So that gives me 10. So from this, my 0 0.5 line, I'm going to be marking 10 here. And then you also have to put in your shoulder to waist just so that you know what you're going to be marking on this side. So your shoulder to waist, my own shoulder to waist is 17. And then my waist to hip is nine. So I'm just going to roll both lines. And then the length of my kimono is 37. So all these marks I'm doing is from this, my line, this line I marked here because this top part is going to be sewn inside. So 37 for my length and I want one inch hemming allowance. So that's 38. So mark 38 here as well. And I would join both of them. Okay, so now we've done the horizontal part. So let's now impute the vertical measurements. So it's at this point that you impute your bust divided by four, your waist divided by four, and your hip divided by four. So my bust divided by four is 13. So this measurement I'm putting in here is your actual measurement plus eight, then divided by four, because you need that ease, you need it to be free. So 13 plus half inch sewing allowance. My waist. 11.75 so at this point i'll show you why i don't bother to use my waist but i'm still going to mark it anyway plus half inch sewing allowance then my hip is also 13 plus half inch sewing allowance i'm also going to mark in that hip measurement at the bottom here so now i'll just join all my marks together my waist to my bust, my waist to my hip, and then my hip to the bottom, like so. So when I'm doing my kimono, I don't like having this, like basically I, also, I want it to look like a box. So I don't necessarily like having the waist part being defined. I just want it to be like a box. I'm doing this because some people may, may want to have their waist defined. So if you want your waist defined, then that's fine. But me, I don't. So I'm just going to be joining my waist now to my hip. Sorry, I'm going to be joining my bust to my hip. So we figured out the body part of it. We are now going to do our neckline. So the neckline I'm using is three inches standard. This kimono is going to have a lapel. So I'm going to be using three inches. I don't want anything. I don't want it too wide. I want the lapel to be able to sleep on our neck, basically stay on the neck. So I'm using three inches. 
and then I'll come down by half an inch and I would use my curve to join them like this okay so now let's cut so that you see everything that we have just done So now at this uh, armhole side, you don't want it to be this sharp. So towards this side, you need to curve it like this. So I'm just going to give it like a fine curve like this so that it's not sharp. Okay, so this is what we have. So this is our neckline. This place is our neckline and then the body and everything. So now I'm going to place this to cut the front. Okay, so our front has just been cut out. I just used the back to cut the front. So I'm going to mark my neckline. This, uh, from the midpoint, from the center front to the place that my neck starts from, I'm going to mark that. And then determine where I want this place to meet so from your shoulder you're going to mark 16 don't forget that you have 0 0.5 here that is untouched don't touch that so from that 0 0.5 mark you mark 16 and then you connect this to this so i'm just going to use a curve to smoothen out that place And then I would cut here. So this is how the front part will look. We still need to take half an inch from here, from this midpoint, because you know we're adding a lapel, so we need to take out half an inch from here so that the front is not excessively bigger than the back. So I'll mark half inch and then half inch. So I'm going to try to join this half inch to this, our slanted line. Like this. So this center front part should be looking kind of straight. It's not straight, but it should be looking kind of straight. So this is what we have now. This is the front and this is the back. So I'm going to measure, I'm going to measure what we have from the beginning of the half an inch line all the way to the end. Okay, so we have 38.5 for the front and then for the back. We have three point two. So I'm going to join these two together and then multiply by two because we have two pieces here. So I'm going to be joining these figures together and then multiply by two. That will give us the length of our lapel. So I'll do that and then we cut our lapel. Okay, so the length of my lapel would be 83.4. So I'm going to be using a black fabric so that it creates a contrast between that fabric and this one. The width of my lapel is two inches, and then I'll be adding half inch sewing allowance. So that would mean that if I fold it like this, two inches plus half inch sewing allowance, and I fold like this, this is how I would cut it like this. So if you want to cut it like open like this, you'll be cutting five inches. So by the time we fold it, it still gives us 2.5. I'll just cut my 83.4 now. Okay, so this is my 83.4. I'll join it together and then it'll give us like a really long strip. We're going to be having patch pockets, so we're going to cut that now. So let's do our patch pocket. So my patch pocket dimensions, what I use usually is 9.5 by 6.5. So the length is 9.5 and the width is 6.5. So I'll mark 9.5 plus one inch. So I'm going to be having black fabric 
at the top of the pockets like this, you know, just for design. So I'm going to be having black fabric there. That's why I'm adding half an inch at the top and half an inch at the bottom. If I was going to be hemming the pocket itself, I'm going to be having my normal 9.5 and then I would add 1.5 for the top alone and half an inch for the bottom. So that would mean that in total I'll have 11.5. But because I'm going to be using the fabric on top, I'm just going to be having 10.5. And then the width of the pocket is 6.5 plus 1 inch for folding in on both sides, that's 7.5. Okay, so this is our basic patch pocket. I'm going to put them together and just notch this top part just to let me know that this is the top part of my pocket. So this is what I have. And then for the black fabric on top, what I have here is five inches. The width of this place is five inches. So I'm just going to fold that five inches into two. So that means I would have 2.5 on both sides. So this is the fabric I would put on top of the pockets like this for both of them. So the width that I cut is just 2.5. By the time I'm done sewing, I'll have only 1.5 left. So we can head to the sewing machine now. Okay, so while the sewing machine, I have to sew our video. This is my front piece, two pieces, and this is my back cut and fold. So I'm going to open up my back and place my front. I'll place my front like this. So you can see this X mark. It shows that this is the wrong side of the fabric. Great. So I'll sew this with my half inch sewing allowance. I've done the shoulder for both sides then I'm going to close my sides now since we don't have like an inseam pocket it's the patch pocket we have so I'm using my same half an inch sewing allowance so we've sewn this top part shoulder and then the sides so I'm just going to go ahead and weave the shoulder and then the sides then we can put our lapel so it's time for us to sew our lapel to the kimono. I've gone ahead to pin my lapel at different places so that it's not moving too much while I'm working. So I'll just start from the end and... I'll be using half an inch sewing allowance. Okay, so my lapel has been joined to the kimono and then I'm going to weave that part again, this part that I just sewed now. I'll weave that again and then we can put our pocket and hem and that is it too. That is it guys, that is it. Okay, so this is our jacket. Before we put the pockets that we've just done, we're going to hem, we're going to hem the bottom and the sleeve. That's all that is left on this jacket. So I've hemmed the bottom. I'm going to hem the sleeve by half an inch because that's the allowance that I left. Okay, so now our jacket is finished. We just need to add the pocket. I'm going to give this a good ironing and then I will come back and put the pockets. Let's put our, this black fabric on the pockets and then we would attach it to the cloth. <clears throat> 
So this is the wrong side of my pocket. This is the right side. This is the wrong side of my black fabric. This is the right side. So I'm going to be placing both of them like this. I'll place this under here. And so. So I'm now going to fold this like this. And this will be on top of here like this. And then we can now fold the bottom and fold the sides. So I'm going to go to the ironing table and iron this like this inside. I'm also going to be ironing this black part of the fabric. I'm also going to be folding it by half an inch because we need to sew it on top of here like this. It is back from the ironing table and I'm just going to go ahead and sew this black part. Sew it down. Okay, so now we can now place on the kimono and sew it. So the placement for the pockets varies according to body size. So if you're making for a, a bigger person, maybe anything from bus 40, you would need to measure from, okay, let's say anything from bus 42. You would need to measure from the shoulder to 19 inches and that's where your pocket will start. But if you're making for 42 and below, that's 42, 41, 40, 39, you would need to measure from the shoulder to 17 and that's where your pocket starts from. So because this initially, like the actual measurement is a bus 44, I'm going to be measuring from the shoulder to 19. So this is my shoulder. This is my shoulder. And then to 19. Here. So this is 19. And then from here, you would mark 2.5. And so my pocket will sit here, like this. My pocket will sit here. And then also this, like this, and like this. So you can pin properly before you sew, just so that you know it's staying correctly. So let me do that. Uh, pockets. So I'm going to fix the other one and then I will show you my end product. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Obiko. Click the subscribe button down here. Thank you. Share with your friends and family <laughs> so you guys can wear Anko. Bye.